everything in my life started to break down. I was praying to God. I've always believed in God, but I didn't have a relationship with Jesus and I didn't know him. Um, and it was during that time that I was reaching out to God and um, asking him to speak to me. Why was this happening to us? Why was everything becoming so tough? It felt like hell. I was trying to finish my PhD. I had two young kids. I was trying to do my academic job on a part-time basis and be a mom on full-time basis. They were not happy with that, so there was lots of pressure and I was losing my status in the lab, my relationships. I felt like I was losing my everything that I had done up to that point and I wasn't going to finish my PhD. We were having lots of difficulties and we were losing things one thing at a time. Financially, there were so many issues at in so many areas of our lives. And I just wanted to hear his voice. I just wanted to hear something back from him. Two days later, we went to this friend's birthday party on a Sunday. And I just remember feeling so heavy. I was not in a mood to celebrate. And I was filled with stress and, and worries. And um, I just went to the basement to check on my kids. And there was a lady there who had become a Christian. And she came, she started a conversation with me and she told me about Jesus um, and she talked to me for two hours. I just remember when he, she put her hand on my hand and she said, he says, um, my sheep hears me. And I remember that touch and, I, and, and what she said, it just felt so good. Um, I just felt like I was hearing something. After that talk, I felt so light so light, um, I just felt like everything was going to be okay. And she told me during that conversation that she had been a Christian for three years or something and she had never missed church on Sunday. And she said, I don't know why today I decided to miss church and come to this party. It's not like me, but I felt like I had to come and now I'm thinking maybe I had to come because of you. There was another time that I reached out to God and and again, I was saying, oh, God, please talk to me. I need to hear your word. I, I need to hear you. It was in the evening. Um, the next day when I woke up and I walked out of the bedroom, I noticed a book sitting on this desk in the hallway. And it said, God's word. So I asked my mom, what is this book? And she said, I don't know, somebody left it outside. And I just brought it in and I left it there. I just picked it up and I started to read it. There was a one week we had gone through horrible times, uh, recovered a little bit, and it just felt like everything was gonna come back. So we felt that history was going to repeat itself. My husband was anxious, I was anxious, and I remember getting up in the middle of the night so worried. I was, all my senses were so alert. There was no way I was gonna fall back asleep. So I would just, you know, think, and think about all the things that could go wrong, and and my heart was beating fast and that's not a panic attack i know what's a, what's a panic attack it was just anxiety and i remember the bible and i just went and i picked it up for seven nights that's what i did every night every time i would open it randomly to a page for whatever reason it would end up on a page that i felt god was speaking to me because whatever i was reading was so relevant to my situation at the time, it just, it was so calming. And you know, the Bible has the love of God, has the wrath of God, but every time I would land on these pages, that really spoke to my situation. And it, I felt like it was the voice of God telling me, it's okay, it's okay, oh, you will be fine. I will take care of you. It would calm me and I would fall back asleep. And that went on for seven nights. Another incident that happened was, um, again, when I was asking these questions, I usually listen to CBC Radio 99.1. One morning, I accidentally put it on 99.5, which was a Christian radio station. And the pastor was giving a sermon. And the sermon was, again, so relevant to my situations the answers to my questions and it just felt so good i felt there was so much wisdom and then going back to the radio station cbc radio felt so different um and i just 
had that thirst to learn more about what they were saying. So I would go and listen to the radio station. I think after a couple of years, I realized that this is not just random things happening. There's a pattern that's being set. Um, there's a path that be, is being shown to me. And this path is leading me to Christianity. At the time I was working at Sick Kids um, and there was a, a colleague there who had a master's in uh, genetics. So I felt like she would be able to answer my questions um, and she, she knows about the Bible. So one day I grilled her. I asked her the toughest question um, because I needed to make sense. And I asked her, uh, so how could God have a son? Um, you know, God is is not a person who marries, and and you know, I asked her really tough questions about evolution, homosexuality, and and I remember the answers that she gave me were just perfect for my where I was at that point. After that, I think there was at, at some point uh, we said the prayer. We I, I just decided that I wanted to be obedient to the call because it was very very clear that God was leading me to Christianity. And it, it has, it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. My life has changed um, in so many ways. So, Dana, yeah. do you love him? I love him so much. <laughs> I love him so much. I love him so much that the mention of his name gets me emotional. I adore him. I don't know if there's a word beyond love, I would choose that to describe my feelings.